What's up guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. This is Bren again. I'm gonna show you a uh, Defender that we just got in. It just dropped off the truck today, which is pretty sweet. It is a 2022 Defender 110 X Dynamic SE model. So it is the P400, but of course this is the trophy edition. So it was wrapped with a Heritage Yellow. But of course we got the decal here. So we got the Heritage Yellow wrap. Landover Trophy, and this is actually the vinyl that was printed on here. Then we got the Union Jack here, printed onto the wrap once again here. Um, it has the extended black pack. Now this Heritage Yellow for the trophy basically is about a $15,000 option. On top of a 110 X Dynamic SE trim with the P400. So if we look on here, this is the Santorini black paint underneath. Now this is just a wrap underneath. So underneath here is Santorini black. Extended black pack though. So it looks like these are all gloss black here around the fog lights, the trim around there. Then we got the A-frame bar here, which came pre-assembled. And then under here is where the winch would go. Now this came wrapped, so I'm assuming for either from the factory or before they got shipped out, they had someone in-house or third party wrap it. Um, the wrap from a distance looks pretty cool. Of course, we got the expedition rack up front there, and then we got the, the mud flaps because that's part of the pack that it came with. And then the gloss black wheels right here. 19 inch, it has the air suspension pack as well. We got the tow hitch receiver here and then you can see this whole bumper is gloss black. So it looks pretty nice. And then we got the tow hooks. The ladder pre-installed here. Uh, if you guys can see this here is the 2022 110 X Dynamic SE, San Antonio black with ebony interior. Trophy edition pack is $14,955 option. And they, of course, they give us the cold climate package, advanced off-road capability pack, off-road pack, air suspension pack, tow hitch, clear sight mirror, gloss black wheels, extended black pack, 11.4 inch touchscreen, which is a $140 option. Gives it a MSRP of 91350 I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not too sure who they sent to get this wrapped because most of the cars that I see wrapped, they you know wrap it around the sides, around here. And it doesn't even really look like they took off any kind of panels, unfortunately, to you know kind of wrap it around just for that extra extra care. So uh, whatever. <laughs> And then the black interior here, ebony. Now this is grain leather with a robust tech interior around the sides. We got the 11.4 inch display. The rest inside, there are no like trophy edition insignia or, you know, lettering designs inside. This is just a SE trim inside. So nothing really, you know, different take this off here everything else is you know the same still got the sliding panoramic roof up there if we look in the second row here this is all the same no uh family pack so you cannot pop up a third row it's just trunk space which is all right. What's also cool though, without this, the family pack, these seats are fixed because you don't need to slide them forward to let people in, which means you get these as a uh, ability to open like that, pop this forward, and then have that drop down in here. Now that's actually basically 100% flat because this folds and there's no angle on here. So something to think about if you guys are, you know, building or waiting for your Defender or maybe looking for a Defender down the road, you don't need the third row and you want more utility 
And for this to be 100% flat, don't get the third row pack because when you don't get the third row pack, it lets you fold those seats up front and then the backs fall down 100% flat. Now there's like no angle in there, so a little hard to see with all the parts in there, but that gives you a pretty good idea of what kind of space you get, which is kind of nice. Look up top here, we got the expedition rack. Access via ladder, which is locked. Keys are in the back. Well, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Um, is it worth the the price tag? I don't know. It's ninety one thousand three hundred fifty dollars, and everything right now, of course, is marked up. So I think most retailers are gonna have this car just because there's only one of them. So it's more of a ex exclusivity thing if you want one. Uh, this is gonna be fifty thousand dollars over MSRP. So you're you're basically in this thing for about one hundred and forty thousand. You do decide to buy it honestly most people probably aren't even going to drive this thing whoever does buy this it's probably just going to be something to collect leave with pdi miles which is about 30 after they do the road test on it um, i don't anticipate too many people probably buying this to drive it unfortunately but it's got 23 miles on it just got off the truck so any additional miles are going to be from the road test after they send it through our service department. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. Appreciate it if you guys hit the like button and then also smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.